Hi everyone. My name is Hajime Hinata. This will be a new show I'm starting, which will be about me reading all of my poems, one by episode to you guys. And I also do some explaining about the same poem, like their meanings and stuff. What is and it I, called? What? I, what is this show called? I... I didn't even think about a title. Are you stupid or something? Shut up! It'll be something like Hajime reads poems or something. That's a really late title. You should think about something more elaborate. Like, anyway, this poem's called Hope. Hope? Sound of hope. My cloud vanished so soon. Wait, what do you mean by cloud? Cloud is a cloud, you know, in the skies. But in this poem, the cloud means something bad. Like a gray cloud that pours down on you whenever you have bad days. Really poetic. Not. I will be so happy. A storm makes me up. I'm frightened. And this storm is... Yeah, way worse than a little sad cloud, don't you think? So that's extra happiness. This is the sound of hope. I hope for a better morning. And so I know the sun will shine. In this hopeless world, I will be happy. Does that mean you're not happy? I won't be if you continue asking stupid questions. So you're sad? No, I'm angry. Anyway, I know the sun will shine. Maybe the cloud will come back. Pay me a visit once in a while, because I deserve it. Are you saying you deserve to be sad or something like that? Well, honestly, I don't even know. I wrote this thing years ago. What? You're showing us something old? Old is not bad. Old is good. Old is old. Old back just like you. Aha. Uh -huh. I bet we'll find happy. Straighten up and listen. The sound of hope in this hopeless world. And yeah, that's the end of it. Why are you using that poem to flirt with me? No, why would I do that? It sure seems like it though. Uh, anyway, as you can see, hope will always be with you, even the hard days. There will always be hope no matter what, so keep your chin up and face reality with hope inside your heart. Never forget that. Wow, that was so lame! Oh, come on you guys, I think I did a good job. So, even though this is the start, please come back for more porn. Also, consider subscribing and stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. Wow, this sucks. Hi everyone, I'm Hajime Hinata, and I'm back with one more poem to show to you guys. I also do my best in explaining what the poem is about, so if you have any questions, please ask away. Poems? Poem? Why we're here to listen to Hajime reading poems? Let's give him the chance for you, Hiku. Maybe you'll change your mind once you hear him reading it. Oh, okay. Thanks, Jackie. So the name of the poem is Alone. Hey, you will never be alone. You're in a hard situation, but you will never be alone. Who are you even talking to? I'm not alone. I know that. It's a poem for lonely people, alright? Calm down. Phil Hickle seems like a lonely person, I think. Never dare say you are alone. Not until you recognize the unknown. You're really depressed, but you'll never be alone. What is the unknown? You can't say to yourself you are alone unless you figure out what's making you feel like that. In other words, the unknown. Something you don't know. Huh. Makes sense, surprisingly. There's a family care, there's your friend's care. Maybe I need to stretch the line, mold it, spin it, throw it to you. The line? What freaking line? An imaginable line, a metaphorical line. It's a line of relationship in which you can change it, but there will be consequences. Does that make any sense to you? Not even a little. There's your shadow care, there's your head care. Everything will be fine if you were just mine. So it's a romantic poem? That sounds like one, is it? Well, maybe, probably, yeah. You just said it was for lonely people. Every lonely person deserves a romantic poem, right? Are you saying I'm lonely? Anyway, you will never be alone. I want to hear that, that too. Stay here, or I will follow you too. I don't know, man. That sounds kind of stockish to me. It's not. It's supposed to be cute and... Oh no, it sounds weird. There's still a chance to rewrite that whole poem. No thanks. And the day comes, and I won't be around anymore. And you keep listening to my voice. You will never be alone. That was a very deep and good poem, I think. Deep? It was freaking dumb. Actually, it is kind of deep. The last lines would be interpreted like this. Even when I die and keep living as a ghost, you will never be alone. This my spirit will be next to you, whispering that last line. That's very creepy, Hajime. No, actually, it's deep. No matter what you think of this poem, the message is clear. You will never be alone. And yeah, that's it. This is my second poem. Please come back for more poems. Also, consider subscribing and stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, never mind what I said. It is still a dumb poem. Hi everyone, Hajime Hinata here. And I wrote one more poem. I can't wait to read it and explain all the hidden meanings. I, I can't wait to hear you reading them. I'm sure they're amazing. Eh, uh, poems are alright, but food is way better. I can read food all night. I'm glad to hear that. So, the name of this poem is Refrain. 
the sound of my heart thumping, and all we're doing is hugging. There is nothing, nothing at all. Hold up, who are you hugging? You guys really take everything I say to the letter, huh? I might be hugging myself, since most of my poems are about myself or someone I like. So we should carefully analyze this poem word by word. I want to make sure you're not sick. Please don't, that'll be very hard to do. So, continuing. Why me? Why me? That would start to form, and my arms start to tremble. It's the devil. It's mental. Two sides greet each other. Um, trembling is a sign of a cold, or maybe you need to relax your muscles. And who is the devil? Are you the devil? Me? Devil? No! Also, I'm fine. Don't take anything too serious. You, you still haven't answered the question. Why me? Why me? A mere nobody faces the harsh reality. I believe I want to be released. Disease will deceive until you're satisfied. Satisfied? Please open your mouth. I'll feed you doubt. Doubt? How does it taste? I don't think it's food. What he's trying to say is that he thinks of himself as a nobody and keeps having doubts about it. That we can't. How do you know? <laughs> I guess quietly. Sorry. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to eat some doubt. The sound of my heart is no more, and all we're doing is refraining. Yes, there is complaining, but we're just training. Complaining about what? And training what? Maybe my heart is not even beating anymore, and I'm refraining, complaining, and yet still training how to breathe again. But what? That's impossible! You're breathing right now, right? Please don't hold your breath, it's bad for you! Don't worry, Nikan, it's all metaphorical. Refrain, why me? Why me? It's part of our brain, scamming right in. I know everything. Yes, king knows everything. Wait, Hajime is a king? Part of our brain? What is part of our brain? Refrain wants to be part of my brain, but I won't let it. Because in the end, I have knowledge, which kind of makes me the king of my own brain. Oh... Now I'm even more confused. I think I understand a little. And I'm still thinking about the food called doubt. It's not confusing. The message of this poem is that refraining is a good thing. However, you shouldn't let it take it over your life. Just do what makes you happy as long as it doesn't hurt anyone. What about the doubt part? The doubt? What doubt? You said- Anyway, that's all for now. Please come back for more poems. Also, consider subscribing and stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. Akani, maybe refrain is doubt. Mikan, shut up! I'm trying to eat doubt. Hi everyone, it's me again, Hajime Hinata. I'm back with one more point to show to you all. This one is kind of confusing, so if you have any doubts, please ask me. This would be a pleasant moment. Poems are very interesting, and they are a way to express oneself. So please show me your thoughts, Hajime. Yeah, bro. Show me that, uh, poem. The name of the poem is F Happiness T. What does the F and T mean? False and true. Oh. I'm right here. Won't you see through me? I'm visible like thin glass. You know my naked thoughts, right? Yeah, right. And can't you see it's night? Naked thoughts? What does that mean? I think it's a way of saying an obvious thought, so the person knows exactly what's on my mind. And that person is? Honestly, I don't know. Fatigue and starvation starts to kick in. No matter what, I keep watch beside you. I will sacrifice my eyes for you. Fatigue and starvation? Well, rest and eat something, man. No, that does not necessarily mean he's feeling like that, Soda. Oh, no one will focus on the sacrifice part. Good. What about the sacrifice part? Ah, uh, crap. Well, I'm just trying to say that I can be that person's eyes. And no, they're not blind. I know it's because I want them to see what I see. That's a little scary. Am I in your open book? Huh? Don't give me that look. Don't pretend. I'm really tired of all this. They say ignorance is bliss. Then why won't you give me a kiss? Hold up! Who's the person you're talking about? It better not be Miss Sonia or else... Silence, best! Uh... No, it's not Sonia. Don't worry, Soda. I just wrote that line to rhyme. It doesn't mean anything. So, not all of the words you write have something to do with the poem's meaning? Not really, but that doesn't apply to all of them, alright? You know what's on my mind, right? Yeah, right? And can't you see it's bright? Oh, is that it? I was waiting for something else. Should I give feedback? How does this work? No, you don't need to do that. I'm already happy that you even listened to me. Interesting poem. This person you were referring to may be someone close to you, and you want them to reveal their true feelings just like you do, but they're not ready yet. That's basically what the poem is about. You're very smart, Sonia. 
Of course she is! That's a Minsonia! Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that was one of my poems. Please come back for more poems. Also, consider subscribing and stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, let's go, Sonia. I feel the hat will try something funny. Hi, everyone. I'm Haj Mehinata. This is episode 5 of the series. If you haven't seen the others, please do. The atmosphere feels heavy today, somehow. I agree. Also, I didn't know boys could write poems. Wait, I didn't know boys could even write in the first place. Well, of course I can. I might have no talent, but I can at least write poems. Write poems, huh? Well, we're about to witness Hajime read his poem out loud to me. You better keep me entertained. I'm not here just to entertain you. Better read the poem now. The poem is called Again. Again and again, I never knew what I was getting myself into. It could either be the door of heaven or yet another hellhole. I carefully touch the doorknob. There is no sign, no sound. I deliberately go out of my way to make things right. But they always go wrong. Always go wrong. I laugh at myself in my scared face in the mirror. I despise myself in my sad face in the mirror. Again and again, it's happening once more. Again and again, I'm not sure I can take this anymore. You just write everything in one go? Yeah, why do you ask? The others told me they interrupted you while you recited your poem. They did interrupt me. Why don't you guys do the same? I'm not the type of person to do that. I'd rather listen to everything and then ask the questions. It is wise to listen first, judge later. So, what is this poem even about? Is it possible you despise yourself because you are the devil that opened the gates of hell? Why does everyone think I'm the devil? That's not right. Hajime is a sweet and cool guy. There's no way he's a devil. Wait, you really think that, Mahiro? Eh, well, a little. No. I smell the darkness from line 4. Don't you get afraid whenever you have to make a choice that will impact your future? I heard someone say before that if you don't take risks, you'll never get somewhere. That somewhere could also be a bad place. Exactly. How do you know what the choices you make will be good choices? What if you just did something awful and didn't realize it yet? You fool! Don't you learn from your atrocious mistakes to become a better person? That's how it works, correct? How is improving? Yeah, but it's scary. Every choice I make is like opening a door without knowing what's on the other side. I can imagine the turn of events, but not everything goes as planned. It's like taking a picture without a camera. Or even worse, when there's no light or quality. No matter the circumstances, you need to be prepared for everything. I think I know where you're coming from, but still, it feels like everything's happening again and again. And I'm afraid of that cycle of madness. Madness, you say? Madness is having to listen to every word of that ridiculous poem. You can't have any doubt about the choices you make. All you need is confidence. Confidence is a thing that most boys lack, after all. Confidence, huh? Alright, from now on, I'll try to be... Try? No. You will be confident. You won't try. I... I will be confident. Thank you guys for listening to me. Simply listening is... acceptable. Yeah, that poem was actually quite good, too. I think that's all I wanted to say. Please come back for more poems. Also, consider subscribing and stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. And now, if you excuse me, I'll go feed my poor dark tables of destruction. And I will take some pictures. Hi everyone, I'm Hajime Hinata, and I'm back to read one more poem. Well, the previous episode wasn't a poem, it was a video about how much I hate neutral people, so check it out if you haven't already. I wasn't invited, that hurts man. Bowling girls, and now bowling boys? Not cool, Hajime. What are you doing here? I invited Chiaki. I invited myself, and Chiaki is too busy playing games, so... Fine, whatever. The name of the poem is Crippling Friends. Uh, what is a crippling friend? I starve, I thirst, he's going to ignore you. Yeah, he is. I long for, I yearn, I tap on sand and immediately hide. My eyes, so big when you answer, excited to make new friends, only to be forgotten, left and red and being looked down. So, on what social media, or is it all of them? All of them, oh, 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 <laughs> what a loser. I'll just ignore that. Feeling the guilt and nervousness bite inside my brain, repeating how stupid I look, how foolish, how boring. Tell me why do I keep going, even without the stress drawing. Makes me want to puke, but I keep going. I know exactly how you feel, Hatsumi. I'm a big pile of trash as well. Nobody's trash. Stop saying that right now. I want to. I try to. Only to be forgotten. No thanks you, no words. At least make your point. I send a message and immediately regret it. Feeling even worse when you say nothing. What else should I say? Probably nothing. Just stop bothering them, obviously. I mean, I could do that eventually, but... Uh, what do you mean? You need to keep it bothering body until they block you. Now, that's a real challenge. That's not what I want, but okay. Am I being too forceful? Hi, hello. 
and can I be your new friend? No, go away, they must think. Tell me, why do I keep pushing? Even with all this trash coming, it makes me want to puke, but I keep going. You know, repeating the line is getting boring and not creative at all. Wait, he repeated some lines? I didn't even pay attention. Yeah, what? You think poems are some lyrics or something? I mean, I used to listen to music while writing, but not anymore. So, he did repeat the lines. What's that for? To sound catchy and cool. At least that's what I wanted to sound like. It doesn't. I will eventually stop at a dead end and you'll regret your decisions. I'm sorry for bothering. So even you are aware that you're bothering those poor souls. Also, there was no mention of a poop in this poem. Why? What? Why would I talk about poop? Why? That's one of my favorite subjects. And speak about that, I feel like take a shit. So, care to explain what that was? Nowadays, everyone feels so insecure and lonely, especially in the internet. Those people have a hard time making friends, either because they're afraid to approach someone, afraid they will be mocked, or many other reasons. I... I kind of understand that feeling. <laughs> Do not worry, we are here to support you. It is my duty to make everyone get along with each other. Don't tell me you feel like that, uh, sometimes. However, this shouldn't be allowed. Sometimes people will forget about you, leave you all by yourself, and you know what? That's fine. That's normal. Just keep going and forget those losers. You went kind of savage there. But he's right. Don't let those people take over your life. Fight back and punch them on the nose. That will teach you down a lesson. Is it even possible to do that through a cell phone or a PC? <laughs> You're right, Nekomaru. Thanks for that. But seriously, it's fine to feel like a burden. But that doesn't mean you are. You're amazing and a nice person. Don't let anyone say otherwise. At least he has a good message. That message will be heard by millions. Probably just five people. But thank you all. And I think that's all. Please come back for more points. Also, consider subscribing and stuff. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, I really need to take a shit though. Where is the bathroom? Hey everyone, I'm Hajime Hinata. This is episode 8. And I'm back with a new poem. This one is called At Any Time. It's going to be a bumpy ride, since this one is different compared to the others I had recited so far. But I hope it won't trouble anyone. Did someone say hope? Oh, and you're here. Again. I should have expected that. I was always here. You just never look back to notice me. Good. You actually should listen to this poem as well. Should I feel terrified or loved? Both. A different kind of poem? This piques my interest, even though I haven't listened to your previous works yet. What a waste of time. I could be eating chicken nuggets right now if it wasn't for a certain someone. I'm sorry guys, but you all have no choice but to listen to me. Yeah, show sure then. Izuru Kamakura! What? What is she doing here? Don't worry, this poem is also to cause her pain. Also, you could never wake up. You would eat breakfast if you did, choke on your food. You would take a bath if you didn't, slip and hit your head in the sink. Wouldn't you mind me drinking your blood as a drink? You would get dressed up if you didn't, get stuck and die of asphyxiation. I hope you don't come back as if in reincarnation. You would work out if you didn't, have a heart attack and drop down. Wish for a more painful death like drown. You would go listen to music and relax if you didn't. Feel your ears explode and bubbles coming out of your lips. I watch it with both hands on my hips. You would go out if you didn't. Get robbed and stabbed seven times on the heart. Not like I'll be behind that to start. You would come back if you didn't. Glad to be alive, it can happen anytime. At bedtime, daytime. Death is just around the corner, waiting to strike, waiting with its spikes, slightly touching your hands. Hurry up and finish all your plans. Glad to be alive, it can happen in the time. I'm just around the corner. I'm a foreigner, but warner. Life has never felt so warmer. Be glad to be alive. I'm always counting to five. Reaching out for your soul, in which I could bury a hole. Hurry up and do it all. But death can happen anytime. And I can't wait to have you by nighttime. Hold on right there. What? What is this? Can't believe you had me. Writing something so awful towards me and Junko. I wouldn't mind if it was just her. But come on, me? Talking about death and stuff? How you wish we would just die while doing normal day activities? Wh what is this? Are we going to fight? I already told you many times not to take my childish point for serious. So listen. No, you listen. I'm about to say something important. Just so you know, I'm very busy. I won't hesitate to kick you. And I just wanted to say that I loved it. Huh? Yeah, good job, Hatomi. You did just fine. I think now it's safe to assume your ultimate talent is being a poet. 
you could still use some polish mental, but don't take my word for it. I'm not an expert of bones or something. That part about choking on breakfast happens to me every day. I really need to eat slower. Hmm, maybe this wasn't a waste of time after all. Huh? Can't I get it saying this? <coughs> Focus on me now! I liked almost nothing. It's too raw. However, I did notice what you were trying to tell us, Hajime. Life is boring without a little despair. And I felt a lot of despair while hearing it. So I guess I gotta thank you for that. Huh? You're all not gripped out by what you just heard? I could have sworn people were going to hate me after this. You say that like we didn't hate you before. But who is this form even directed to anyways? And it looks like you refer to yourself as death. Originally, it was just going to be about me hitting over someone, but then I've decided to be their death too. <laughs> I was about to say how sweet it is that you are telling everyone to feel lucky and happy to be alive, since people die so easily and in unexpected ways. Uh, yeah, that too. But it's true, death is what gives life meaning, and the emotions that come along with it are the things that make us human. Emotions like happiness, sadness, anxiety, fear, and love. And many more. It's an endless loop, endless cycle. No matter how bad something looks or sounds, there's always a good thing about it. A good side. And the despair side, which is way better, by the way. I'm glad I sneak in again. Could have lost this piece of mastermind. I think you might be exaggerating a little bit. It wasn't that good. Even so, thank you guys for listening. And this is probably the end, so please come back for more poems. Also, consider subscribing and stuff. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Now that we're done here, let's all go to McDonald's. I want the spare fries! Bagels! What? Hey guys, it's me again, Hajime Hinata. I'm finally back with one more poem. I hope you two like it. No problem. I just hope your poems are romantic. Romantic? No way! That's so cringy! It's not romantic, and this poem is called Naked. I'm already interested. Start right away. Okay, you read. Give me this! What? You ripped my spiritual clothes, you left me undressed. Spiritual clothes? <laughs> Don't ask. You are reading my mind, you are leaving me behind. You are looking inside my soul. Can you see what I feel? Can you feel what I see? Can you touch the empty inside me? Can you hear the galaxy inside me? Oh, I can totally feel the empty inside you. <laughs> if you know what I mean. No, I don't know. Please tell me I'm not like this. <laughs> Please don't judge my naked spirit. You slice my dry skin. You cook me with eggs and flour. You are chewing down my skin? Hedman, what is this? I thought it was romantic, so I could make fun of it. It is romantic to cook someone and eat them. You know what I mean? It's like this was written for me. It has everything I like. Uh, cannibalism? How worse can this go now? You have spoons and knives. You have a plate on your table. Can you taste how bitter I am? Can you swallow this sour garbage down your throat? What? No, 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 you're delicious, sweet, perfect. Can you just stop talking? Can you feel my heart pounding in your plate? Can you see my lungs empty? Please don't eat me alive. Please don't judge this naked body of mine. I liked it, clearly. You don't need to explain. It's about loving someone while having dinner. I don't even want an explanation for trash like this. Did someone say trash? No, and it's not about a dinner. It's about someone having insecurities about themselves, especially their image. Don't you sometimes feel like a meal? And people are eating you, but they don't think you're tasty. No matter how naked you are, or how much sacrifice you make to be noticed, they pay no mind. I guess. I guess it makes no sense, but no matter how you look at it, it's creepy and weird. What? You think this creepy and weird burn was made for me? Explain this, Hajime. It wasn't even... Do you think I'm a cannibal? Because I'm not. I don't eat people. At least not like this. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for reading my poem, Hiyoko. Maybe you could start reading my poems from now on. Wow, really? Of course. You're really good at it. Oh! Sorry, but I don't read trash. Did someone say- Hello everyone, long time no see, huh? Today I'll be reading a poem that's very special for me, even though it may have already lost its value to someone. But anyway, the name of this poem is called Stopping By. So tired of walking around, caught up with you, and I frown. 
I'm just stopping by and realized I couldn't say goodbye and you're shy. Why? Just for you, I'll stop by. I'll stay here so I won't die. I'll stay here not to make you cry. And I'm realizing I can't say bye. And you're shy. Why? I'm just stopping by near you, turning my head and joking, looking away and choking. I'll be here so you don't fall. I'll be here so you can call. I'm realizing my epiphany, my nightmares, fooling around. Joking around brought me the world. I never knew you'd come along, and I'm crying. But why? I have walked way too much, and my last stop is too far. You think I'm a perfect star, but all I have are those scars. And yet I stretch out my arms. I stop by close to you, shaking and laughing insanely. But you calm me down, surprisingly. I'll go if you want me. I'll go if you don't love me. For now, I ask you to hold on to me. Close your eyes. Count to three. And run to my next stop with me. Y yeah, that's it. I should have made this way sooner, but I got really lazy. I'm sorry, I'll try to keep up with you guys. And see you all in the next video. should stop putting my own thoughts into our own minds because sooner or later they'll all scatter around closing one by one all my children running down my tipsy fingers when I thought I could trust them the most they turn their back on me moving on already isn't it so pretty the way you lie it's so pretty I'm enchanted and amused to the point where I start to refuse the reality of trapped myself in. as a stupid fool who collects useless thoughts. So take another advice and let the water do its magic. Then move on with lies. <laughs>